So in today's video, I'm gonna make a tier list based on how cool or fun I think any brawler is in Brawl Stars. I have the entire list of brawlers, and as you guys may know, I'm actually moving right now, so when you see this video, I'm most likely not even on the internet. Like, I shouldn't have internet for about a week. So in one day, I'm making like four or five videos, so I need to make easier videos right now, and this is one of those videos. So this is gonna be a lot more laid back. There's not gonna be like any action because I'm just talking about a tier list. If you have any time to chill, like if you just wanna relax right now and watch this video then that would be really cool also if you're new to my channel and this is the first video you're seeing i normally upload videos that have a ton of edits it's usually gameplay i do a ton of challenges and things like that i guess think of wonder brad that's what i normally upload so if you want to check out other videos after this one then i would really appreciate it and as always consider subscribing if you do even enjoy this video i would really appreciate that as well i'm basing it off of kind of looks like how they're played and if i like how they're played if i like going against them if i like playing as them everything like that if i hate them on my team if i like them being on my team it's like an overall tier of like what I think about the brawler if they're like one of my favorites or not that much or I hate them So as you can see the tiers are epic cool Okay, lame and doo-doo which you guys probably know which brawlers are gonna be on doo-doo Starting with Colette though originally when she first came out I thought that she was like extremely epic She was like one of my favorite brawlers for a good week or two But after I played as her I, I didn't really play as her ever again I don't know it was one of those situations where I was like she seems really fun But she's like really hard to play so instead of epic I'm probably gonna put her on cool. Next up we have 8-bit and ever since his new star power came out I played as him a bit but then once again I stopped playing as him because I, I just don't like him that much. I think that he's a bit too slow. Well you know that's his whole thing but I don't really like how he's that slow so I'm gonna put him in the lame category. I know he's like a really unpopular brawler anyway so I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me on that one. He can be fun though with the new star power he's actually really fun which is pretty cool. And then we have Barley and he's never really been one of my favorites. He was one of my favorites actually like a really long time ago back in beta or like back in portrait his super would actually stack and it didn't used to spread out that much like if you wanted to you can make it go into one little place and he was the highest dps brawler in the entire game it might sound a little bit weird about barley if you didn't play back then but he was the highest dps brawler in the entire game but we're not really talking about back then we're talking about now and now uh he's not really a character that i would choose very often so i'm gonna put him in lame okay when i put people in lame that doesn't mean I don't like them. I don't know why I named it that. Actually, I think I can change it. All right, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna make it meh. You know, I don't like him, but I don't hate him. And then I'm actually gonna change Dudu to just, I don't like them. All right, moving on, B. I hate going against her, but she's pretty OP, I guess, to play as. I don't know, she seems like a really easy brawler, at least in my eyes, and that makes it kind of fun if you just wanna get into a match. It was like one of those characters where you can really go into any mode, any map, anywhere, because she's overall really strong. So like, I really, really, really don't like going against her because I play as a lot of squishy brawlers and she one shots pretty much all of my main brawlers but playing as her is like really good because she's an overall good character so I'm gonna put her in okay I like playing as her but I really don't like playing against her and then next up we have BB okay so she is like my best character for no reason but like this is a character that I can't stand playing against everybody has that one character like Cashew says Nani and uh, I, I don't really know what you guys have you probably have that one character that you, you like when you're playing against them you're just like I don't want to be playing against this brawler and for me, that one brawler is actually BB. Because in my eyes, she's like the W key of this game. She can just run straight at you. And most of the time, even if you laser her down, she can still get up to you and two shot you, which I don't really like. I think that's kind of lame. And unlike most of the other tanks, she's actually extremely fast, even though she's a bit less tanky. But just like B, she two shots all the brawlers that I enjoy playing as. And that's why I don't like playing against her. All right, so next up we have Bo. And he's like the, the medium character of the entire game. Like Bo can do a ton of damage, but you have to be good. And overall he's not boring to play as but he's not really fun to play as with the new gadget it can be a lot more fun but that definitely needs to get nerfed and i'm pretty sure it'll get nerfed soon enough i don't enjoy playing him that much because his skill cap is a bit higher you have to focus up a little bit more and most of the time i'm missing my shots and just dying but other times when a bb tries running at me she runs through my mines and i use my gadget and then i get to kill her and that feels really good so i'm gonna put him in okay he's again like the middle brawler of the entire game i feel like you can't love him but you can't hate him that's kind of how he is and then next up we have Brock and this is going to be the first epic. Overall his character design is really cool. I think that he plays really well. He's probably one of the best balanced characters in the game. He's not like Bo where he's in the middle of the group but he's still pretty good. A character who can be played in like most maps, most modes. You know if you want to go into any mode you could probably take him
them in unless the map is like really bad for them but i don't think that's ever the case unless there's like a ton of bushes or something but yeah brock is the first epic tier and next we have bull and i'm gonna put him in okay just because of bush campers i know that people like pika can go off with bull and they can do a ton of cool things but most bull players are pretty lame and they just like going in bushes and bush camping you and then they just run at you until either you die or they die it's <laughs> they never try to escape it's it's one or the other so that's why i think he's okay i don't love him i don't hate him uh playing as him is actually pretty fun because you're super tanky i never usually play as tanky brawlers but when i get the chance to it's pretty fun because i'm so used to playing as squishy brawlers like i said a million times i main squishy brawlers and he's played differently than a lot of the tanks because like his attacks are really short range but it, they're like longer range than they feel so then you're like oh i'm actually doing pretty good damage from a decent range and that makes him feel a little bit different so moving on we have carl and i'm gonna put him in meh even though in the beginning i really liked carl but then he kind of got a little bit annoying because his attacks do a ton of damage he has a ton of hp he has really long range and a ton of hp which is like a bad combo it's just like 8-bit having really long range and a lot of hp is just like a deadly thing where they will never be bad in the meta if they have those stats and carl has basically never left the meta ever since he came out and that's why i I think he's a little bit meh because i'm bored of seeing him all over the place he is a little bit less meta now because there's like other brawlers there's in general a lot more brawlers in the game but uh yeah i don't know carl right now is not one of my favorites i want to see a new meta all right so for colt i'm actually gonna put him in either epic or cool but for now i'm gonna keep him in epic because he's like the baseline of the game he's one of the cover brawlers with shelly and that's pretty cool because you know any brawler that's been in the game for like since beta since the very beginning i'm probably gonna put like near the top i guess except for barley rip barley but yeah overall colt is really cool and though you have to like be big brain and play super sweaty in order to actually do good with him now uh he's still pretty fun and hitting an entire shot feels amazing even though i don't play as him that much i still think he's an epic tier because it's cold you know all right so now we got my boy my boy crow and i'm putting him in the top of epic tier because he has been my favorite brawler since the game came out or i mean since the game came out from beta and i say this a lot whenever the topic comes up but a lot of you probably don't know because there's so many new people on my channel i actually ended up getting crow like a month or two after the game was in beta so most of you or even all of you weren't even playing the game i'm talking about when the game was back in portrait like right after that first initial tournament with all the youtubers soon after that like when there were not even super rares there weren't even i don't know if there were, yeah there were epics but there weren't mythics it was a really different game back then and there was like 14 brawlers maybe and crow was one of them and he was a legendary and back then legendaries were even harder to get than now because getting boxes took a bit longer and overall progression was weird it was like faster but it was slower getting points on your brawlers was a lot faster but actually getting brawlers was a bit slower because you had less boxes regardless though i got crow before i got an epic maybe even before i got all the rares like i got him right away and that was insane so he instantly became my favorite brawler and he was so unbelievably fun to play back then he's still fun to play now but i think that he needs to get his super a little bit faster and actually when landscape first came out still in beta he got his super like right away and there was a meta for like a month or maybe even like a couple weeks before he got nerfed but he could jump in jump out like he would jump in with the super and get it from his super and then jump again it was like an infinite loop of jumps and that was like the most fun meta i've ever played and he was viable in gem grab he was viable like everywhere and i want to see that again because maybe not see exactly that again but i want to see something like it where crow can actually just jump in and jump out because he literally can't do that now he needs like five attacks in order to get his super and you'll definitely be dead by the time you can get five full attacks out so i think that they should bump it down to like four or even three attacks to get his entire super back up because imagine the meta bro imagine how fun it would be playing him in 3v3 modes you jump in you kill somebody you get your super back and then you jump back out i think that would be really fun that that was like the best meta in, my, in the entire game in my opinion all right so next up we have daryl i'm gonna put him in meh because i still miss his long roll i don't know if anybody else does but i still really miss that long roll that was my favorite thing in like the entire game a lot of you may not know but daryl used to be able to roll like more than the entire length of the map like daryl could roll so far with his super and it was insane because sometimes if you mess it up you would just pinball everywhere and it would be amazing and in showdown you don't even want to use it because you would pinball into the smoke and die but daryl's super 
was like my favorite thing in the entire game back in beta, back when it used to be like a really long line. And ever since I changed it, he kind of felt like Mortis 2.0, except less fun. So that's why I'm putting him in meh. And M's actually used to be one of my least favorite brawlers. Or no, she used to be my least favorite brawler in the entire game. But I'm gonna put her up a little bit. I don't really hate her as much, even though I absolutely hate dying to her. I hate getting one-shotted by her. That's like the worst thing in the entire game. You try to approach her M's and she just one-shots you and there's nothing you can do about it. I hate that. <laughs> I really don't like that. But as long as you can avoid it or like even just playing as her, she's pretty fun. Like as long as you can avoid the annoying parts of her, she's really fun. And so I think she's a pretty okay brawler. I might actually move her up another tier. I don't think that she's that bad anymore. I still get really annoyed when she kills me though. All right, so next up is Frank. And I don't know. I'm not going to put him in not like because he's not like one of my least favorite brawlers, but I don't like him that much. I don't really like playing as him because it's really hard to do anything as him in like any mode. You either have to have a massive brain or your enemies have to be like pretty dumb to actually get hit by you because he's the easiest person in the entire game to dodge. You literally just have to exist to dodge him. And there was a point like a long time ago when he was a meta because they actually increased his range by a ton. And dude, that meta was super weird, but it was super broken at the same time. And it was also fun. Like seeing these underdog characters as meta was actually really cool. And I want to see more of that because it's always like like the same brawlers in the meta i want to see a difference all right so next up is gale and i'm actually gonna put him in not like i don't like playing as him i really don't like playing against him because he does a ton of damage from long range dude he's like piper 2.0 except even stronger uh his gadget used to be really annoying but now it's kind of useless and funny because it doesn't do anything uh his super can be really annoying because it just shoves you around and i don't know overall he's not a character that i would really like when he first got introduced he was like really weak and then he got made really strong and now he's still like really strong and annoying and now that he has that new star power that slows you when you get hit, that just made him even more annoying. That might be an unpopular opinion because I know a lot of people like Gale, but I don't like him that much. Speaking of not like, I'm putting Genie in there because the pull mechanic is kind of broken in Brawl Stars. I know it's always broken in these kind of games, but Genie's is, I don't, I don't know, dude, it's super broken. Mainly because you can auto aim it and hit like anybody when you auto aim it because the auto aim with the pull is really good and it almost never misses. So I think that they should probably like nerf how fast the hand comes out to pull you and then i think that he would be less annoying in my opinion just in general making it a little bit harder to pull with him because he can land almost every single pull and when you get pulled you're dead like there's nothing you can do unless like the gene is dumb and pulls you as like a full hp frank or like a full hp bull but when he pulls you in like any other situation you're pretty much dead and the fact that you can't even attack until like way after he pulls you in and he can push you back out as well like he can fully act but you can't do anything it's like a complete stun and i don't really like that i wish you could act out of it so so I have him in the not like category. So next up we have Jackie and that's another one in the not like category. She is probably the most boring character in the entire game to play because she is walk and auto aim. You literally don't need to use your aim stick at all. She's probably like the weirdest concept of a brawler because she is literally just circles. It's very, it's like really weird, but it's also extremely easy to play. And that's why anytime I have a challenge where I literally had my game upside down and reverse, I played as her and I still got kills. I think that goes to show how easy Jackie actually is. And that's why I don't like her because she's just so easy to play. And anybody can pick her up and mash auto aim and kill you. That's what I don't like about her. All right, so next up we have Jessie and I'm gonna put her in the cool category because she is another OG brawler and even though she's like extremely weak, I tend to like the weaker brawlers for some reason because their mechanics are always really cool but they never really get a light shined on them so they're gonna stay weak forever basically. Like Jessie has never been the meta and I need to see a Jessie meta, bro. It might be annoying but I wanna see it. I really like Scrappy, I like any kind of turret. I like how you can keep it alive and overall, Jessie is pretty fun. I think that she just needs a little bit of buffs and then she could be even more fun though. All right, so next up is Leon and I'm gonna put him in Epic because he was the first ever brawler with the invisibility mechanic. And when he first came out, the invisibility lasted like 10 seconds. And that was one of the most fun things in the entire game because you could go invisible and then get your super right back when you kill somebody go invisible again and every single time you went invisible you would always find somebody because it lasted so unbelievably long and that was really fun and it still lasts a long time 
So uh, yeah, I think he's pretty fun. And now it still lasts a decent amount of time, but they definitely balance him down. And I think he's still fun though. All right, so Max, I'm gonna put her in the cool category, even though playing against her is kind of annoying because it seems like she can always land her shots. And she's another one of those characters where auto aim kind of wins for you. But the good aspect about her really outweighs the bad aspects of playing against her because playing as her is insane. And there's a reason why she's one of the more popular brawlers in the game. Playing as her is the most hyperactive thing you would ever get in this game and anytime I play as her, I get extremely hyper and I just want to go around rushing and killing everybody because that's exactly what she's designed to do and it works perfectly. So overall, I think Max is really cool. I think that she might need a bit of a damage nerf though because she does a bit too much damage and she can run around wiping out anybody she wants to. All right, so Dynamite, I'm going to put him in cool and if you asked me back in beta, I would say throw him out of the game, but now I think he's pretty cool. Him and Barley were like really toxic back in beta, but now they're fine. It was because on certain maps there were things where throwers could be completely safe and completely block out the enemy team that's not a thing anymore though i don't know why i brought that up i just wanted to but now they balanced him out a little bit you know they changed the maps over the years and he is a mid-tier brawler i would say which you know is another brawler that i would kind of like even though i don't play as him ever mainly because you need like god tier internet to even play as him uh he's pretty fun to play against because juking him is insane and you know <laughs> it doesn't really matter where he throws the sticks because you can always dodge them. Uh, I never really tried learning how to jump, but I do want to eventually. I don't know when I can get to that, but you know, I'll try it eventually. All right, I gotta speed this up because I'm really running out of time. I'm talking way too much. So Mortis is going in the epic category because he's a zoomy boy. Okay, dude, he zooms all over the place and he's like the most fun brawler in the entire game. Uh, I'm gonna put Mr. P in the not like category because I think he's really annoying. In Clash Royale, you know, spawners were always annoying and now in Brawl Stars, his spawner is really annoying and he always like chips at you with his main attack and I don't like that very much. I'm gonna put Nani in the okay category or even meh, but I'll put her in okay for now. Nani's really weird because she's extremely hard to play and she's kind of annoying to play because of how hard it is to hit your shots. And then also when she one shots you when you're playing against her, that's really annoying. So I don't really know why I'm putting her in the middle, but I am. So <laughs> enjoy your stay there, Nani. It might go down eventually because you've been one shotting me a lot recently. And Nita, I'm gonna put her in the cool category because she's a cool character and Bruce is really cool i usually like using the healing star power because i always like keeping the pet alive because that's like the main point of the character that's what makes the character fun is having a pet to actually back you up and using the speed attack one in my opinion is a little bit boring because it's that that's all it is you can't really support your pet at all and i just realized that i have a complete five 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 list right now so everything is completely balanced right now this is really weird next up we have pam and i'm gonna put her in epic i don't really know why but like she gives me that vibe of like a really cool brawler ever since she came out especially when she first came out though because she was extremely unique and now they kind of narrowed her attack down but her attack used to be super wide and it used to have a ton of range and they kind of balanced that out a little bit she used to be insane and she's still really fun personally though i think that they should increase the radius of the super a little bit because it looks really small right now and i'm not used to that at all and that is my only complaint with pam because she's a pretty cool brawler so moving on we have penny and i'm gonna put her in okay because i don't play as her that much but she's never like not fun to play as because you know the mortar is always cool and i like having pets in this game and that basically counts as a pet in my opinion it's the least fun pet besides mr p's mr p's will always be my least favorite but penny's is a little bit boring because it kind of just sits behind a wall and doesn't really interact at all. Anyways, moving on, we have Piper and she's going in the epic tier because she's an epic brawler. I'm always talking about when these brawlers first came out, but like her initial release was absolutely insane. She was the first brawler to be added to the game and when she got added, her attack went off screen by a ton and it would one shot you, dude. Also, you could like mash the screen and shoot really quickly and you could just take anybody out. She was insane when she first came out. There was a point in landscape where she was absolutely trash but now they balance her out so she's like decent now but she went from being extremely op to being absolutely the worst character in the game and now she's actually pretty good so i like piper she's one of my favorite brawlers in the game actually so poco loco i'm gonna put him in cool because i don't play as him very much but when i do it's really fun because you literally cannot die as poco it's like impossible and overall being able to support your teammates is always cool unless they're really bad randoms and you're supporting a robot basically <laughs> all right so next we have el primo and i'm gonna put him in meh mainly because 
because he still doesn't have the cone attack. I'm still waiting for them to give his attack a cone. It used to have a cone back in beta and that cone was amazing, okay? I will keep him in meh until they give him a cone. It is so hard to hit all your shots as a primo because people can just walk to the left or walk to the right and you'll completely miss. With a cone though, that wouldn't happen. So Supercell, please give his attack a cone. That would be amazing. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Rico, I don't really like him. I don't like playing as him and I don't like playing against him. And there's a huge reason why I'm putting him in not like because uh, it was another character where they changed him a ton and I don't really like how they changed him. So the way they changed him is back in beta, his range used to be insane. He had by far the longest range in the game and his super would go across the entire map. And when he had that range, he was extremely fun to play. But now he's kind of chilling there with like normal range because when landscape came out, they gave all the long range brawlers basically the exact same range. And I don't like how Rico's range got like put back to normal because his range used to be so much longer than anybody else's. And when they took that away, I didn't really ever like him since. So I'm keeping him at not like until maybe someday his range gets put to a million again. I know that would never happen though because that would be super broken now, but you know, I can dream. All right, so Rosa, I'm gonna put her in meh because uh, she's kind of fun to play. And the only thing that's keeping her from not like is the fact that she can place bushes. That's a really cool mechanic. That's one of my favorite mechanics in the whole game. And there's nothing too appealing about her. It's kind of just like Jackie where you can run up and mash auto aim and there isn't much else besides the bushes and I like the bushes. So yeah, moving on to Sandy and I'm gonna put him in the cool tier because he is cool. Much like Leon, he can, you know, spawn invisibility and invisibility is always a cool mechanic in this game. In Sandy's case though, playing against him is kind of annoying because it seems like he won't three shot you but then he does and when he does, you cry and that's why he's in cool and not epic. All right, so moving on to Shelly, she's an okay tier because she is like the baseline character of the game but at the same time, she is the weakest character in the game and has been the weakest ever since Band-Aid got nerfed like over a year ago. And when Band-Aid was OP, she was super annoying. So she's either super annoying and broken or the worst brawler in the game. And there's no in between. So I think that they should just try buffing her attack, fixing that issue where she can one shot anybody in the game up close, but then she does nothing anywhere else. I think if they nerf her ability to chain supers and then they give her like more mid range damage, that would be pretty cool. And I think that would make her a little bit better. All right, so moving on, we have Spike and I'm putting him in the epic tier because Spike is the cutest brawler in the entire game and I will never not put Spike in epic. He's also one of the OG legendaries and Spike is amazing. Vote Spike 2020. All right, so I'm gonna put Sprout in the, I don't really know. I'm gonna put him in meh because when he first came out, he was really cool. I liked him because he was cute, but then he got super annoying really quickly. And also playing against him is kind of annoying because of how hard it is to hit your shots, especially when somebody's like right up on you. It's one of those characters where you gotta like put your giant brain glasses on and I don't always like doing that so I hardly ever play as him and uh, yeah that's my story of Sprout. Alright so something that I never really expected I would do but Surge is going in my not like tier because he got really annoying really quickly just like Sprout. When he first came out he was extremely fun because I never really had the experience of playing against him as other brawlers. Like when he first came out I was playing as only Surge for like a week or two and then I started playing as other brawlers and then I realized that his teleport is really annoying to go against and that dropped him all the way down for me because when I'm playing showdown and I'm trying to do a specific challenge and he TPs on me and one shots me that's annoying and I don't like that all right so Tara is gonna go in the cool category she's always been that like that one brawler who can't really be lame because she you know she's like really mysterious and her super is really cool and uh, yeah nothing much to say about Tara she's just that baseline pretty cool brawler and then the final brawler to almost completely balance this list except for okay there's one missing in okay but tick is in the not like category category. It should be pretty obvious why I don't like Tick. I don't think anybody likes Tick in the entire universe. They may like playing as him, but playing against him is a different story, and he's basically like Sprout on steroids, and he just drops these giant walls everywhere that you basically can't go past, otherwise you'll die. I like to call them walls because that's what they are. If you try to go past it, you're dead. At one point, they did nerf how long his mind stood there, and that was an amazing nerf, so I think that they should do that again, and then instead of uh, reverting that, they should just make him do like, I don't know, more damage maybe or like more attack speed or neither i don't know i'd really like to see tick not even in the game because he's just really annoying to go against i don't know it's never a good time playing against tick because half the map will always be covered in his attacks and i don't really like that anyways my voice is actually going out because i've been recording all day and i still have to do one more video so oh god <laughs> i don't know how many people made it to the end this video seems like it's gonna turn out to be like 20
20 or 30 minutes long. But if you did make it to this point in the video, then let me know your favorite brawler and why they're your favorite in the comment section down below. And I gotta end it off here because I still have to make another video in like the two hours that I have left. So thank you for watching. And with all that being said, I'll see you later. Have a good night.